David, thanks. At the Capitol, two topics top of mind this session are education and parent choice programs. Tonight, a big move being made by the House that could fast track a controversial parent choice program. Our Capitol reporter Haley Wagger with that story. There's a lot of disagreement here at the Capitol about what the future of education should look like here in Oklahoma. There's multiple high price tag bills from both the House and Senate. Now one side of the chamber is making some pretty bold statements, hoping to get their school legislation to the governor's desk. It's the area with the largest appropriation. This is a very serious expenditure of money. And the area with the most disagreement education. We want the education packages this year to be a win for everybody in the state. After an ESA plan from the Senate failed last session, the House is taking a bold approach at getting their education package signed into law. The House Bill 2775 and House Bill 1935, we expect those to be heard as is. Mending those two bills, everything's dead on arrival. House Speaker Charles McCall uh, says the House is open to separate education bills from the Senate, but only if the House tax credit and public funding bills push through as is. We are prepared not to consider any further education bills this session until those two bills are considered on the Senate floor. It's asinine. There's, that's not the way this process works. President Pro Tem Greg Treat saying the Senate won't be bullied into making any decisions. If the Speaker's goal is to kill school choice, he's doing a great job. It's setting the trap to be able to blame me for school choice dying. Governor Stitt has been a champion for school choice programs, saying both sides need to work together on a comprehensive plan. Let's sit down, let's figure out what that package looks like. For Oklahoma's own, I'm Haley Wager.